All right, guys, Richard from the RC Network, and this is Sponzilla. Now, this has been actually several months in the making, and uh, it started out with a concept from a couple of guys on YouTube, and of course has developed into this huge, monstrous of a vehicle here. And I've got to thank a few people out there in the RC community. Of course, Neil from FreakySkins.com. Uh, he got me these great graphics and actually uh, designed the whole thing. I mean, he did some great um, concepts here with the um, pixelated camo. I did definitely wanted some camo in it, uh, but also wanted to incorporate my logo, which he actually totally redesigned. He is actually responsible for coming up with a new version of the RCN logo, which turned out pretty cool. Now with that, he also uh, put on some of the uh, people responsible for the parts on this build. Of course, Matt Zilla, Tekken Racin, Axial, uh, MIP, Futaba, Vanquish, and of course, Proline Racing, um, people that make just great products, and I incorporated them into this build here, Sponzilla. Now, of course, uh, Lou Lee over at Matt Zilla Designs, um, he's the guy that designed this Wraith Zilla chassis. Now, this chassis is actually designed to bolt a Wraith drivetrain straight to the bottom of it, and you're set to go. So I kind of had to go a little bit over the top and went with some pretty top shelf parts here. So I uh, Good job to Lou over there at Mattzilla. Um, he's actually beefed this version up a little bit from the previous gen versions. He added a couple of extra crossbars in here and things to just kind of stiffen up the front end of this Wraithzilla chassis. Now, where did I get the word Spawnzilla? Originally, when I got the Spawn kit, the Spawn Wraith kit from Axial, um, I, I was really inspired and I start to pick up some of the option parts, of course, from Vanquish and MIP and all the, the great guys out there in the RC community. And before I knew it, I actually almost had an entire other Wraith uh, just from the parts. So decided to kind of do a piece by piece build and incorporate some great parts. Now, of course, if you guys remember, I did end up giving away that Spawn Wraith kit on my 20th um, or 20,000 subscriber uh, giveaway contest. So um, that one went to a new home and this one is now uh, here at the RC Network. So um, really quick, we're gonna go over kind of what I used on the build. Hopefully I won't make this a very long video, but nonetheless, I don't wanna leave anything out that I used and it isn't completely complete. As anyone knows in the skill community, things are always kind of morphing and kind of being edited or improved on. And I still have a few things that I still have to uh, get buttoned up on this Sponzilla. Now I do have this Exoterra um, kind of radiator fan that I do want to somehow get here on the backside. Um, just kind of working out how I'm going to do that. So went ahead and painted the uh, fan blade silver just to give it kind of that accent color in there. And of course, it's that licensed one from Griffin. So a pretty cool little thing. I also have these kind of uh, front uh, fender wells that I've kind of cut out of some spare Lexan. These things are actually going to go up in here. And as part of uh, kind of the rules of um, U4RC. So wanted to get those things in there just to kind of hide um, the internals. And I believe it is actually a rule to have the inner fender well covered. So want to get those things buttoned up as well. Um, other than that, uh, I need to figure out the lighting. Um, I have the two Vanquish light bars here hooked up to that Hey OK um, external light controller that I have plugged into my Futaba receiver back here in the fuel cell. Well, it actually turns on, but it won't turn off. So need to kind of figure out uh, what's going on with that to get that up and running. Other than that, everything is wired up. Everything is running 100% perfect. It runs so, so smooth. Um, so just took it a little test drive in the driveway. Uh, the thing just runs great. Uh, so really happy with that. Another thing I do need to figure out also is um, I have an email into MIP. I have a little bit of the splined shaft here, uh, still exposed, um, probably about three eighths of an inch or so that I do want to, hopefully, um, uh, Brandon will be able to get me a uh, longer uh, female shaft here to cover up the male end of that spline shaft, just to kind of give me a little bit more peace of mind on these drive shafts. So these are just the stock Wraith uh, drive shafts from MIP, and hopefully they have something that has a little bit longer um, female shaft on there. So um, other than that, gosh, 
this thing is pretty heavy. I, I got to admit, it's it's weighing in right over nine pounds. Um, it is solid. There's nothing uh, flimsy on this thing at all. It is uh, top grade items. So um, really quick, let's go through over some of the parts. Of course, I use a lot of Vanquish on this thing. I'm running the Curry axles, both front and rear. I'm using the offset pumpkins, not the center ones in the rear. Um, pretty much all of the uh, Vanquish uh, titanium links are used on this, both the steering and then also into the upper and lowers um, underneath the vehicle. I'm using a Futaba BLS uh, 172SW. That thing cranks out right over 500 ounce inches of torque. Plenty of torque there. So I'm using the scale knuckles and C hubs here from Vanquish as well, and also their VVDs, their version twos, uh, which happen to be very, very nice spin very freely. Now throughout, I did use RC screws to screw everything together because this is a piece by piece build. So some screws were not included. Um, also ended up using a full set of Avid uh, Revolution bearings throughout the entire build. And I did mention those MIP drive shafts. Uh, those things are just solid, solid steel, American made. Those things are great. Um, I'm using a full set of uh, slash four by four rear ProLine power stroke shocks. And I did pick up the spring package as well. I'm gonna start testing it out to see what springs I really wanna run. Uh, but for right now, I'm just using the stock one just for the setup. The ride height seems to be really good and I'm really happy with the amount that is actually sitting into the, um, the, the suspension there. So it's doing really good. I believe I filled it up with some 35 weight oil just to start me out. So we'll have to see how that ends up. Now I'm using a Spawn uh, Wraith interior that I've kind of chopped up into pieces to get that fit in. I still want to do some painting inside just to get some details to the interior, like the mask right here. I didn't get that actual sticker, so I need to kind of paint that up. And just maybe the steering wheel. I got some dash inserts, um, both from the Axial kit and also Freaky Skins hooked me up with a, a nice little radio over on the other side over there. So, of course, the fuel cell, maybe you guys saw that in the last episode, that's actually from RC Four Wheel Drive. Um, Kind of small, but fit my Futaba receiver and all of the extra wiring I had getting all the way back there to that receiver box. So it uh, really worked out good. And I kind of have it sandwiched here on this sheet of styrene that I kind of custom cut out for the back deck lid right there. Um, of course, I did um, all aluminum panels that I cut out here at the RC Network. I just traced out an existing Wraith panel, left out the little V-notch, and pretty much that thing worked out good. Now, as far as wheels and tires, I am using some Vanquish 101 uh, Method rims. Uh, these are um, uh, great rims. I got the blue OMF rings that fit on there perfect for Vanquish as well. I believe I'm running 450 hubs right now just to get me started. I may end up um, Lengthening out the rear just seems a little bit narrow right now. So I may jump up a couple of notches on that one. As far as inserts, of course, these are Crawler Innovations Deuces Wild Standard Foams. And then, of course, the Voodoo uh, U4 Silver Compound Tires. These things are great, super sticky, and they always run very, very nicely. Trying not to forget anything that I've used in here. Super Shafty Transmission, that's their big six millimeter um, bomb proof transmission on the center there. You can't even see that. Um, I am using a hot racing skid plate for right now. Not sure if that's going to stay. It may, I'm not sure. I still need to add in the bearings here to give the clearance for these uh, Revo rod ends here on the Vanquish um, titanium links. Try not to forget anything here. So kind of seeing here, I'm using all Tekken electronics. Of course, the RX-8 Gen 2, you can see that just a little white piece here. I've actually screwed it to that back piece of styrene that's all kind of bolted and strapped in to the Matzilla cage. And of course, a Pro 4 HD 2500 kV motor. And I am using 4S LiPo in this rig, this small little 2200 milliamp battery packs from, I believe, Turnigy is the brand of that. So, um, gosh, I'm trying not to forget anything here. There it is. Well, this is, I believe, 
maybe the eighth or ninth episode of Spawnzilla, please feel free to check out the rest of the Spawnzilla videos. There's lots of information, lots of little um, things that I've added throughout the build. I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anything. Here's a look at the um, Turnigy Nanotech batteries that I'll be running, just these little 2200 milliamp. Um, I believe these are 50 or 45 uh, C discharge batteries. They say 90 C, but that's the um, the burst rate. So a pretty nice little small pack here. And they fit right inside here underneath the driver's seat, um, all nice and tucked away with a little Velcro strap. So pretty, pretty nice. So that is Sponzilla, 10 minutes of talking. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this build. I can't wait to show you guys the run video. Uh, that'll be coming up very shortly here. Uh, very nice weather in Southern California right now, so I'm gonna get out on the trails and see what this thing can really do. Well guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.